North Marion hosted Lincoln Friday night for the Huskies' final home game of the season. After maintaining a 9-7 lead going into halftime, the Huskies would come out strong, stopping the Cougars on their first drive. North Marion would control the clock and march down the field, and in the red zone, Ryan Elliott would take the ball in for a Husky touchdown. And the kick would be good, 16-7 North Marion with 45 seconds left in the third. The Cougars would answer, though. Ty Sable would grind his way into the end zone, bringing the Cougars within two of the Huskies. 16-14 North Marion with 9.45 left in the game. On the next drive, North Marion would go for it on fourth down, but fail, giving Lincoln the ball. But good defense from the Huskies would stop the Cougars. North Marion's Austin Stanley would give the Huskies another touchdown. 23-14 North Marion with 134 left. With 50 seconds left in the game, North Marion's Chase Banker would intercept Lincoln, leading to a Husky 23-14 victory over the Cougars. It's bittersweet. I mean, I hate to leave this place, but it feels good to get a win, and especially a team like Lincoln. They're pretty good. Uh, you ran the ball really hard tonight. Talk about that run, that touchdown run you had. Uh, broke some tackles and really good run, especially the last 10 yards or so. I had really good blocking, first of all, but I just wanted in that end zone, you know, I just wanted to score on senior night, and that just made my night, so. Uh, also on defense, you played really well. That's a good team you played, good quarterback. You shut him down pretty well today. Yeah, we just kept pressure on him all night, didn't give him time to throw the ball, and we kept good uh, coverage on him with like Chase Banker and Riggs and all of them out there. Drew Harker's safety, they, they're really good at uh, just stopping the pass. So. It, it feels really good. Um, being a senior and coming out and winning night is something very special. And for it to be a fun and interacting game like that, that's that's how I'm going to remember. And that's something I'm going to take with me in my grave. And I'm, I'm proud of my teammates, proud of my coaches. We all do what we need to do to get them in the So, like I said, I, I think uh, I think field position, field conditions help us. We're a solid football team. And I think we finally put together, uh, I wouldn't say four quarters of our best football, but we finally put four quarters together where we played hard, uh, played assignment football, and and, uh, and all that. And I think that, that just that was the difference, really, tonight. We made a lot of negative plays happen with the blitz. Uh, the penalty game, we were really solid on. Uh, we kept time possession and the turnover battle. I think we ended up one to one. Yeah. Uh, so, so anytime we're even to a head in the turnover ba battle and we're controlling the clock with our running game, uh, I like our chances. And that was pretty much the difference. Tonight. For more stats, check out timeswv.com. For the Times West Virginian, I'm Emily Gallagher.